Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're looking at creating a last refresh timestamp, makes our report look a bit more professional using Power Query and DAX. So the first thing we need to do is click Get Data and Blank Query. And what that's going to do, it's going to create a blank query within the Power Query editor. And it's going to take us to where we need to be to access the advanced editor to write some M code. So the first thing we need to do on the left hand side is rename this blank query and I'm just going to call it last refresh column. This is going to pull into a report like a field. So we do need to write a, a brief amount of M code to get this last refresh date. So it's going to be of type table. The date is going to be for the, the last refresh date, which is going to be according to date time. And what we need to do now, we need to apply the relevant time um, as per our local system. So we can write date time dot local now. And we can actually click done that. That's the only M code we need. We can click done and we see we get the last refreshed. We can click close and apply there. And that's going to pull into our Power BI report just as a normal field would. Now what we can do here is add another page, quickly rename it. Um, just for demonstration purposes here, we can take a card, for example, and we can pull this in, this last refresh query. And let's see how it looks if we weren't to format this with DAX. So I'll expand the card out and I'll drag in this, this last refresh date. Now you can see as standard, it's got the proper date format, the longer date. We've got the time in 24 hour time. Potentially we want to edit that. Um, and, and it's not very intuitive to anyone. So if we want to include this in our report. It doesn't look great. So we can actually format this by adding a new measure. I'm just going to add it within this last refresh column query. You could add it wherever you want. So first of all, we need to name it. So I can just call it something like formatted last refresh timestamp. Again, you're free to free to name it however you want. Try to keep it specific when you have lots of measures and you're, you're trying to look into them. That will be helpful. So what I want to do first, instead of using this category, um, I actually want to add some free text. So I can add report last refreshed on and a space at the end within quotation marks. And you'll notice I've added with the ampersand a Unicar 10 which is just the default way in Power BI to insert a line break properly. And in the formatting here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull in the max, so the, the latest refresh date um, from that column that we created in Power Query. And then I'm just gonna format underneath here by using the format function and max, and then we need to have our quotation marks. And basically what I'm doing here with the, the numbers of month and days, year, I'm just formatting that um, date to look however I want it to. I've got the hours and minutes and AM, PM instead of 24 hour time. So I'm gonna pull this into a card here and we can see how that looks in comparison. So it's much more intuitive, much more helpful for the end user, um, a bit more narration, which is what we want. Now, what we could actually do just as, as a small experiment, we could pull this in and compare it to the, the Power Query. And you can see um, the results with a little bit of DAX formatting, how much better it looks and it's more helpful for any stakeholders. And again, I can refresh this and you'll see that it automatically updates with the refresh. It's, it's nice and dynamic. So we can find some space to add this into the, the overview page. Um, and what I'm actually going to do, this is going to be on a single line, so I'm going to delete that Unicar 10 within the DAX. And then what I want to do here is just do that bit of formatting. I don't need the, the, the Power Query card. Um, I'll look at my formatted DAX last refresh time stamp. I'll delete some, um, lower the size, and then I can gradually minimize this and copy and paste it over to that overview page, that main dashboard view that we have. 
So I'll remove the background, change the text, and we're gonna be left with a nice professional touch. All we needed was a little bit of M code within Power Query, a little bit of DAX, and we've got a really, you know, nice polishing touch to our report that's gonna help end users. So as usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you. Thank you.